Hello and welcome to Neighborhood Real Estate Update, where we bring you hyper-local, timely, and accurate information about real estate in zip codes all over San Diego County. Today is May 30th, 2023. We are almost out of May, and I hope you all had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Uh, it has been uh, a bit overcast and uh, not, uh, not so sunny here in San Diego this May, but that's why they call it May Gray. And from what I read, we can expect more of the same heading into June with some June gloom. Um, but hopefully the sun will pop out here and there. Anyway, we're here to talk about Poway today, 92064. We uh, last visited Poway one month ago, so we'll see how things have changed in one month. Looking at all of San Diego County, we are sitting at 2,334 homes for sale, which is about where we were at the beginning of last week. And as I always say, heading into the week, we expect this number to uh, decline a bit as properties go under contract. Um, but this number is, you know, it's a, a little higher than it's been. It's been inching up. It's been creeping up very, very slowly over the past six weeks and, you know, continues to do so. We'll see how that trend plays out. But right now, let's get into Poway and see what we're looking at in terms of the number active the number pending and the number sold in the last 30 days, how that compares to last month and the average market times and all of that other good stuff. In order to see this better, we will get me off the screen, goodbye. And we are gonna switch to our standard comparative market analysis view so we can get all the min, max and average stuff going on. And here it comes. Okay, so yeah, in Poway right now we have 42 active. That seems to be an increase from, uh, from last time. I can't remember exactly what the number was last time, but 40 do, 42 does seem like an increase. Now, the real tell here is gonna be how many pending properties we have relative to these 42 active because last month it was way out of whack. There were way more pending than there were active. So let's scroll down and have a peek. 52, <laughs> okay. So the uh, 42 active have an average market time of 43 days, which is getting shorter uh, as, we, uh, as we look at this through the months. And 52 pending means that these 42 are likely to sell in less than, uh, in less than the average market time, uh, likely to be absorbed. We, uh, we refer to this as absorption rate. How many, how many active listings relative to pending are there? And so our absorption rate currently uh, over, over 100%. Demand is outpacing supply still. So um, just overall a lot more activity than we've seen. Uh, okay, so 42 active with an average of 43 mark days on market, 52 pending with an average of 29 days on market. Prime example of the old adage, price it well and it will sell because only 29 days on average for the uh, properties under contract versus 43 for those on the market. And of course, as usual, we have several that are sitting with very long market times. So uh, those are pulling on this average, but they're there. So uh, looking at uh, active and then pending again, 29 days on average. So that has fallen below 30 days now, which is um, uh, better than it has been. So looking at the sold in the last 30 days, we have 34. So the average market time on those is 26 days, even less. Uh, so the properties that are going under contract and the properties that are selling are doing so uh, quickly. And looking at the sold properties here, uh, again, Poway has every type of property from uh, age-restricted manufactured homes all the way up to these uh, large 
multi-million dollar places. <clears throat> so looking at those, um, we're seeing this one that closed just a little bit under asking price. And when I say just a little bit, we're talking relative to the $3.8 million price tag. It actually closed more than 100,000 under, but as a percentage of three, almost four million, that's not so drastic. Uh, this one was listed at 3549 and sold for 32. That's a little little more, but it was on the market for 114 days. So this one was a bit of a, a tougher sell. Here's one at three and a half million that sold in 21 days, and that's fast. Uh, 82 days here, and we're under asking price. As we get into the lower price points, I'm gonna to expect to see a lot more that are selling either at or over asking price. So here you go. Uh, this one's at asking, this one's uh, a thousand dollars over this one's uh, four thousand over this one is right at asking right at asking right at asking a little bit over and a little bit under a little bit under a little bit under a little bit under so things things are not you know everybody says that this year is just you know what's happening now is just like what was happening last year and it's really not uh, last year, um, well, by the end of May, things had changed, but say last April, where the market had really peaked out, and we're basically back to that same spot in terms of median price almost. Um, but at that time, properties were selling 100,000, 200, 300,000 over almost every single time. The list to sale price ratio was, uh, you know, 105, 106%. Now what we're seeing is properties, a lot of them are selling over, but they're not going wildly over. They're going, you know, somewhat over. I mean, here you go, this is more than more than 50,000 over. This one is 10 over. Uh, this one is, it's, you know, a little more than 100,000 over. So that's a pretty good one. Uh, this one's under, this one's 10,000 over. This one's a few thousand over. Here's one, you know, this, this is a prime example of pricing a property to sell, to create that competitive environment. You have a 1,522 square foot um, house over here off of uh, community, in, in that neighborhood off of community, and it was on the market six days. They priced it 949.9, and they sold for 1.1 million. So, in order to get this to happen, you price very aggressively, and then they had, I guarantee you, at least 10 offers to get them to this spot, or one buyer that was just tired of playing the game and decided to jump way over. But this one is, let's see, 100, it's like 150,000, right? Yeah, 150,000 over asking. Um, so then again, we're at asking just a little over. So most of these are, you know, they're, they're, oh, a lot of them are over, but on average here, I'd say we're, we're running pretty normal, like 98% list to sale price ratio, maybe a little higher, but in any event, similar to last year, but not just like last year. So that's what's happening in Poway right now. 34 sold in the last 30 days currently 52 pending and 42 active. So there is overall more activity now than there was a month ago, two months ago. And that is to be expected because we are heading into the summer months now. This is what people historically consider the real estate sales season. So there is more activity, but we still do not have enough homes for sale to overcome the demand, at least not in Poway. Uh, and that's what's going on there. So let's get uh, this back and hello. So if you like this content, please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, give us a special request for a neighborhood or a zip code that you'd like to uh, know more about or get an update about. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, what hap that's what's happening. We'll be back uh, tomorrow with another edition of Neighborhood Real Estate Update. And then on the first, on Thursday for San Diego Market Watch. 
as always we'll be with you on friday evening for a little a little drink a little chat about real estate and life in san diego until then have a great week and we'll talk to you soon Thank you.